This video is sponsored by Green Chef, a CCOF certified organic company that makes it super easy to enjoy nourishing home-cooked meals. The incredibly convenient doorstep delivery means no wandering around the grocery store looking for each ingredient. Everything arrives perfectly portioned out for you. That saves a lot of time in the cooking process and means that you won't have like a ton of extra cilantro left over that ends up going to waste. They've got options for every lifestyle, keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, mediterranean, and gluten-free. They've now got even more variety and flexibility than ever before with double the choices. You get to choose from all 24 recipes weekly with the option to mix and match meals from different dietary preferences. I have absolutely loved cooking with Green Chef. I feel like it removes from the process everything I don't like about cooking and enhances everything that I do like about cooking. I get genuinely excited each day to cook my meals and I've been super impressed with each recipe that I've tried. They've all been delicious. I especially love the pre-prepared like sauces and dressings and aiolis that they come with. They're all delicious. If you enjoy cooking at home but wish it was faster and easier, I highly recommend giving Green Chef a try. You can use my code MOON 135 to get $135 off across five boxes plus free shipping on your first box. You can visit greenchef.com for more details. Hello, hello, hello. If you want, you can zip it all the way up. Hopefully not to zip your hair in along with it. And then you can um, button that. You can button that. This is for if it's really, really windy, which it has been most of the day. Thankfully. 
already. Now then, it's the evening time and we're filming. The wind has pretty much completely calmed down. I want you to hear the lovely pitter patters of the rain, but I don't want I don't want your lovely little ears to be subjected to the howling winds, the harsh howling winds. So I think conditions are perfect right now. Um, so I think I'm gonna stay bundled up like this, bundled and buttoned anyway. Because it's cozy. And I brought some stuff out here to show you. Uh, to show you and to make sounds with. And to bundle you up with. Because you are looking woefully unprepared for this weather. You look like you're in your pajamas and you're ready for bed. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Now that you're out in the rain with me, uh, I'll get you ready for it. Uh, it's not your fault, you didn't know. You didn't know that I was going to take you out here. It's okay. It's okay. But first, I'd like, if you don't mind, to trace, to trace your lovely little face. Is that okay with you? I can trace my lips, my nose, my eyes, my eyebrows, and the outline of my whole face. Okay. for like a week. So it was kind of the last thing I was expecting. But what a pleasant surprise it is. I'm sure all the plants um, are very thirsty. So all the plants must be very grateful for this refreshing drink. And it's even a bit warm out still right now. I think it's always so cool when it rains, when it's warm out, because I like to go outside and enjoy it and just sit in it for a while, and you can do that really comfortably if it's warm out, and it feels like tropical. I feel like I'm on a tropical island, because it's warm and wet. It's just so pretty. Okay, let's see what I've got to bundle you up with. Let's start with a coat. And we're going to be doing several layers to make sure you are completely warm and safe and protected from these harsh elements. They're really not that harsh, it's just some, it's just some bitter batteries, don't worry about it. I want to make sure you're comfy. The first layer does not need to be waterproof, just warm. So it's this wool houndstooth jacket. It's pretty smart looking. It's got a nice collar. And my favorite feature is it has They're quite big, quite spacious. You could fit lots of things in there. This one has, is that a plaid pattern, I guess? 
And something's in there. Oh my gosh. This is from a trip I took with my friend years ago. I guess I haven't worn this jacket in a while. It hasn't been cold enough to. So, um, this our list of things to do. We must have been in Portland because the first thing on the list is Powell's. Powell's Bookstore. Then there's Woonwinkle. Other shops around there. Buffalo Exchange, Lush, Target, Peculiarium, Salt and Straw. Oh my gosh, I would love Salt and Straw right now. The Roxy. I don't remember what the Roxy is. Um, and then also one of the um, things on this list says, Die in the Pit. I'm not sh I don't remember what that means. I'm going to tuck that back in the pocket. That might come in handy for you if you end up visiting Portland in your dreams, in your dreams tonight. You'll have a list of exactly all the hot spots, even dying in the pit. Oh, it appears that I've lied to you. I, for some reason, remembered that the pockets on, these, on this coat were two different patterns. That would have been cool, but it's not the case. They're both that same plaid. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I hope I have not lost your trust. Um, yeah. So these cute plaid pockets. I need to do this and this one? No. Okay. So. I'm gonna wrap you up in this if that's okay. Alright. pop it if we can always pop it if you start feeling fancy at any moment should we button it there's only one button but we could okay let's button it good make sure that stays on you really nicely perfect now we can put the next coat on you i'll grab it okay so this next coat is a really good one for those incredibly, uh, well, what's a good word? Mm, taxing winter days. I got this one for Chicago winters, so I haven't worn it in a while. Uh, but it's from Anthropology. It's quite dramatic. It's a similar burnt orange tone as my sleeve, but much darker, and plaid with bright red and royal blue. If you would have suggested to me to put these three colors together, I would have said, ew, that would never work. And yet here we are. It looks pretty nice. I love the buttons, uh, like striped, shiny. Uh, looks like a tiger's eye stone, sort of. One of my mom's dogs has eyes that look just like um, tiger's eye, the stone. Um, very pretty. Lovely shape to the collar here. And my favorite part is the inner lining is the most luxurious 
silky royal blue all the way throughout. I think that looks gorgeous. And um, I'm not sure how to show you, I guess like this, that it's very, very long. So it'll protect your entire body from any harsh breezes that might occur. Um, I'm not sure, I think it goes down to like mid-calf. Yeah, it reaches past my knees, so keeps it so safe. You'll love this, you'll be so cozy in this. Okay, so just like the first one, I'm going to uh, drape this over your back, okay? And tuck it up close against your neck. And drape it over your left shoulder. Go ahead and put your arm through. That's good. And then your right shoulder. Go ahead and put your arm through. Let's straighten out that collar. And button it up, shall we? One. This one has actually got lots and lots of buttons. I'd, be, I'd gladly do them all for you, though, if you'd like me to. Okay, let's do it. No rush. We've got all the time in the world. silky blue lining belt. That's nice. It feels so luxurious every time you reach into your pockets to grab something. Feeling that soft silky blue fabric makes me feel like a princess. All the princesses have silk lined pockets, of course. And what do princesses have in their pockets? I don't know. Jewels and shortbread cookies, I bet. Hmm. Anything else? I don't know. Hmm. Looks so pretty out. I um, can see mountains feels a bit generous. They're more like hills see all these hills in the distance that um, are all misty. Like, you can't see the tops of them because they're so covered in clouds. I think I might sneeze. I'm going to run away from you. <laughs> okay, I didn't sneeze. <laughs> this is my last a uh, coat for you, last layer. Very important for the outer layer to be waterproof resistant. Both. So, this one is. It's the same like windbreakery or umbrella material as what I'm wearing. And it's got that houndstooth pattern uh, that the first one had on the inside, so it all it all ties together. What is this stain? What the heck? Looks like paint. I don't know how that happened. I'm sorry.
button it. Great. You look beautiful. I like how the colorful inner layers are just ever so slightly peeking through. And then you look so smart and cool and sleek with just uh, the black coat on the top. Looks really good. Okay, now I bought some accessories. This first one uh, was handmade by Jingle Jangle ASMR. I think it's so cute. It reminds me of the hat in Animal Crossing. Is it called the Tulip Hat? I'm not sure, but one of the Animal Crossing hats. This looks quite a lot like. Such a beautiful, muted, peachy pink color. And this brim will protect, protect your face, protect your face from any rain drops, drippy, drippy drops, dripping out your face. And you can sort of like adjust it to sit however you'd like, to some extent. You know, there's not like a wire in there, but it's pretty suggestible. It takes, yes, it takes a takes recommendations for sure. <laughs> okay, so there's the first one. Do you want to try it on? Okay, let's put it on you. I want to bring the, the brim over your brow. Oh, not that much, I'm sorry. I want you to be able to see, but I think that the brim will look so cute coming over your brow. simple, classic, could go well with just your simple black coat. It's just a white, um, I'm not sure what this is called. Like, there's sweaters that have this, you know, like the different braids and stripes and patterns. There's a word for it. I always think of the sweater that Chris Evans wears in Knives Out for this style. Oh wow, that's so comfy. It's a bit tight, but I like it. It feels like my head's being hugged. <laughs> it's very nice and warm. Okay, let's take this one off of you and you can try this one on instead. Just put You could also wear pretty much the same thing, but uh, just as the stripes, not like the braids or crisscrosses, any of the more interesting patterns. And it's a beautiful, warm yellow. It's like the yellow that's in the middle of a daisy. Can 
can try this one. See what you think. Sorry, I keep covering your eyes. I don't mean to. <laughs> Do you like that one? Is it comfy? Yeah, I like that one because it's nice and soft. This one keeps you warmest. It's most practical for cold winters. But it's itchy because I think it's wool. It's a lovely color though, isn't it? This will match your, um, your second coat. The collar is peeking out through the black coat. It, this will match it perfectly. It's Lucky Brand, so it's got this little leather patch sewn on. Stitch, 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 stitched all around the edges. And then the Lucky Clover logo embossed onto it. Yeah, it's super warm, comfy, cute, high quality. But whenever I wear it, I have to like scratch at my forehead. It's so itchy. Feels good. Okay, let's try that one on you. See if you like it, find it warm and cozy in a way that it's worthwhile to handle the scratchiness of it. Or I can scratch, 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 scratch it for you. Scratch, 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 scratch. Yeah, it looks pretty. Matches maybe even a bit too well. It's like a bit matchy matchy, I might say. I don't know. This one, uh, I think, is not going to go with your outfit, but I still want to show you because it's so cute. This is one that my sister made for me. It's another handmade one. And it's very unique. The shape of it is quite cool. Um, it's beautiful red. My favorite color. And it's got the pom-pom at the top. It comes down over the ears. So your ears won't be getting cold at all. And then it's got the long tassels that come down. Into two more pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-poms. Pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-pom. Pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-pom. Closer and farther away, and to the left, and to the right, left, right, left, right, up close, up close, up close, and far away. Good. These could be used as formidable weapons if need be. So yeah, this one won't match your outfit, but you're welcome to wear it for self-defense purposes. Okay, the last one I think is actually going to be the winner though. This one is so cute, I love it. It's got the prettiest colors in it. I like to wear it with the edge tucked up. Or do I? This one sort of reminds me of oatmeal. Stripes of beautiful different variations of brown and copper and gold, and I love the texture in these two stripes here. It's so cute, it's so cute. I think it'll go perfectly with your outfit. I can't remember where I got this. I'm pretty sure it's another handmade one, but I don't think it was made for me by someone I know. I think I bought it at um, like a Christmas festival. There was a booth where uh, I think it was like a church was selling them for um, to raise money. I'm not sure. 
but I really like it a lot. And put that just like that. If I pull it all the way down, I think you'll still be able to see actually. Yeah, that's cool. Oh wow. Well, that's nice because that'll keep your face so warm. <laughs> but you'll still be able to see. So yeah, those are all of the warming up um, items that I wanted to adorn you with. So now you've got not just one, not just two, but three coats keeping you cozy and a warm fuzzy beanie, not just on your head, but all over your whole face. Thank you so much for spending some time with me in the rain. And thank you for letting me bundle you up and ramble to you. I had a great time. I hope that you are so warm and cozy and have been enjoying the pitter-patters on the umbrella. Mm.